Good afternoon YouTube. It's Wednesday, it's uh, March the something, the 9th of March and I'm going to film today a highly requested video. Um, that I did a similar video to this one about cornering and knowing when to turn in a class 2 lorry or a rigid and I've had the question numerous times can I do the same video but in the Arctic so today's the day I finished my job for today so I'm gonna um, go ahead and film today for you a when to turn uh, tips video in the Arctic before I start I'm not a HGV instructor these are just my tips and tricks that I use so I'm gonna take you with me for a drive and I'm actually going to do near enough the same route I did in the rigid um, so you can see the difference if you have seen both videos if you haven't check out the link to that video if you're interested in the description otherwise let's go all right then I've come down here especially um, just so I can film this video on the same route as I did on the last one so I've come a bit out of my way today to make this video for you but I think as I said in the last video this kind of thing when to turn and everything in the Arctic is something that I think a lot of you including myself if you're a new driver overthink um, and it's because you see the size of the truck and you think oh my gosh how am I gonna cope and you know you just overthink it I'm leaving a bit of a gap here because I know Arctics come this way quite often and training ones as well so I'm leaving a bit of a gap here being that cars parked there just to give them space to come around hopefully I'll trigger the sensor on the lights if not then I'll move forward but yes um, I think it's something that you overthink um, the driving forwards of these Arctics and HGVs it comes to you relatively quickly in my opinion it's something that you just get used to so let's start then to turn this corner to the left I'm just keeping as far to the right as I can and I'm aiming for this white arrow on the road when I see it disappear now I'm turning and you can see in my mirror camera I have to pull it a bit more to the right there that is a tight turn for the Arctic you can see in the mirror because I have my camera set up on the mirror so you are seeing what I can see um, in the mirror so we're on the same page you can see there that we're turning at the last second really you'd be surprised if you're coming from a rigid to an Arctic you'd be surprised how better these turn again we're going to follow the road to the right here so I'm moving over to the left and I'm aiming for that yellow thing and then I'm just going to turn at the last minute going to the left again I'm aiming for the curb here where the flowers are turn at the last minute you can see in the mirror I've missed the curb quite a lot there like that was a, a really wide turn around there but I always think when you're learning and before you get to know your own truck that you're best to take more than you need than not enough so at this roundabout here I'm taking the second exit <laughs> little boys waving at me here I'm taking the second exit here so I'm pretty much taking up the middle of the road here there is enough space for this car to get to the right of me which I need to be mindful of now because I want to go towards the blue arrow well the white arrow the blue sign and then turn and I know that he wants that lane as well so I'm gonna have to let him go before I can go because I want to miss my curb on the left hand side this one I'm staying as far to this curb as I can I'm turning left here so I'm aiming for that green sign and turning at the last second and you'd be surprised how much better these turn compared to the rigid that's what I was saying beforehand so you think oh my god I'm never gonna make the turn but actually you can and until you get used to it try to take a bit more space than you actually need straight ahead at this roundabout I'm keeping to my right hand side because you can see it's all uh, what's the word I'm looking for it's all 
coned off but it's not coned off if that makes sense it's all blocked so it's not there laying i'm aiming for the curb on the right now i'm going well over to the left where this lamp post is i see the curb disappear so i'm turning aiming for this curb i see it disappear so i'm turning and i'm around the corner i know it's all going a bit quickly the time is around three o'clock now so it, we get into school traffic it's getting a bit busy uh, this wouldn't really be a common route for an Arctic. You wouldn't really come this way, um, unless your delivery was this way, obviously. Uh, so, again, going straight at this roundabout, I'm keeping over to my right-hand side on this white line. I'm going to aim towards the blue arrow, then I'm going to turn to the left towards the lamppost again. When I see the curve disappear, I'm turning, aiming for the yellow, I see that curve disappear, I'm turning. Yeah, this isn't really a common route for an Arctic, but there's no restriction, so you can come this way. Um, and I did this one in the rigid. Again, here I'm going left, one, two, third exit across there. I'm keeping to my right hand side because this curb does stick out quite a bit on my left hand side. So I'm going forward to that blue arrow and turning when I see the curb disappear. You can see I've missed the curb on my left hand side there. My guide through all of this is my trailer wheels. I'm gonna turn left here. This is quite a tight turn. So I'm keeping to my right hand side and I'm keeping an eye on my trailer wheels this side that I can see I've missed that curb. I've gone on these white chevrons uh, whatever they're called, these lines on the floor where it's combed off. I'm going on there because I can. Um, the road is there so I'm going to use it. There's no rule that I have to stay within my lane. If I need that bit more space to avoid the curb then I'm going to use it. So this part here, what I'm driving on now, we're not supposed to drive on it, but if you need it, it's there. Again here I'm going straight, keep it to my right hand side, aiming for that blue arrow. Just going to wait for this car because I want to go around it slowly so I can talk you through it. Just wait a minute. I'm going to aim for that blue sign again, the yellow sign with the blue and white arrow on it. I do keep calling it a blue arrow, I do apologise. I mean the blue sign. going to aim for that and then turn at the last second when the curb disappears turn to the left aiming over by that 20 zone I see that line on the floor disappear I'm turning left I'm aiming for the other blue sign when the curb disappears I'm turning to the left and you can see I've missed the curb with my trailer I know it all seems a bit fast but I suppose if you watch it again you'll be uh, with me a little bit more. I know the video I did in the rigid has helped a lot of people because you've told me it's helped you. So like, thanks for leaving me those comments and letting me know how much it helped you. I'm hoping this one's gonna help you too. Again with the cars, I'm just keeping a look. I have all this space, it's a very wide road. So I'm using as much space as I feel I need. And my guide is my trailer wheels. So if I see my trailer wheels, are too close to the curb I know I need to steer away from it a bit more if I see that they are far away from the curb I know I can go in a bit more I'm gonna attempt to turn left here I've never done this before with the Arctic and I know it is quite a tight one so I'm keeping well over to the right here on these white lines and I'm gonna aim for about where that silver car is not the one in front of me the one before I'm going to aim there at least before I start to turn to get this corner and I think I might need to steal a bit off um, the other side of the road over there, their lane, to get round. I've never done it in the Arctic before, it's quite tight in the rigid, we're going to see. Again my guide will be my trailer wheels. What I've done, I've put my left signal on nice and early and I'm letting the traffic behind me know that I'm turning left even though I'm on the right hand side of the road. If they are local they'll know it's a tight turn. In this situation here I'm actually blocking that left lane with my trailer anyway. 
So that's only going to benefit me because it stops anybody coming at the side of me unless they are a cyclist, a pedestrian or a motorcyclist. So I'm going to be aiming for that silver car, the one in front of this one, and then I'll be aiming for that yellow sign where the blue arrows are again. I'm going to start to turn now very late and I'm going to pull it towards straight ahead in front of me. Now to get round here, I think I need their side of the road, let's see. I'm going to go as close as I can to this gentleman. No, I can't do it, so I'm just going to wait. And what they will do is they'll move out the way for me. I'm not blocking anything because the flow of traffic is going the other way. So at the moment I'm not blocking anything. And you can see this lady over here is hanging back. I have caught the curb a little bit there. She's smiling at me. She knows she's helped me out a lot. And people genuinely do. Uh, they see that you're in the Arctic, they see you need the space, they see you're struggling and they do tend to move out of your way. I mean the guy in the van, in the red van, he wasn't going to wait for me, but the lady behind him did. Um, the best situation there would have really been to have stayed behind the giveaway line, uh, but that was my impatience, so I do apologise. Here I'm going third exit where the lollipop person is over there in the high vis. I'm just going to put a right on. I'm keeping to my right, heading straight, turning last second, heading for the white car. Now I'm turning. I can see in my right hand mirror that I've missed the curb by a mile here. Turning nice and late, going on to this lined off part here. I don't know what these are called. I should have looked that up. I don't know if they're called chevrons don't know this part that's separate from the rest if that makes sense if the space is there you can use it again going through cars like that situation there comes with experience you'll get to know how wide your truck is and the only way you'll know is one day you'll go down a road and you'll be a very close to the cars and you'll think that's a bit too close I'm not gonna do that again just driving past parked cars and anything like that I'm always just keeping a check in my left hand mirror that I've got a good distance from the car because like I said my trailer wheels are the biggest guide for me um, in this situation of course had I have not been following the previous route I probably wouldn't have done that left turn up there at those traffic lights I'd have gone a different way <laughs> if I wasn't sure but sometimes you have these situations where you're not completely sure where you're going and I did say to you I thought it was going to be tight and it was I shouldn't have gone but I did never mind okay then so I'm going one two three fourth exit at this roundabout I'm going to put the right on again I'm keeping close to my right hand side now I have to be mindful there is another lane to the left of me that cars may try and get at the side of me the car that is there has kept out the way which is great again I'm taking it wide and my trailer wheels in my right hand mirror are giving me the guide of whether I need to turn a bit more or not here it's gonna get close I'm aiming for this curb with the yellow thing on it turning last second when I see it disappear and I'm following the corner around when I say when you see the curb disappear I don't mean disappear under the front of your truck <laughs> So it's a fine line, you know, when you see it start to disappear, then you know you can turn. Again, it just comes with experience and you'll get to know your own truck and how your truck and trailer moves and how it turns. At this roundabout, I'm going to turn right. I don't think I've done this one in an Arctic either. Like I said, this isn't really a route that you would bring the Arctic. But going around the cars, I'm aiming for the bus stop until I can see that I've cleared it back over to the left curb so I can get my trailer around this curb on the right hand side this roundabout I'm aiming over there for that pedestrian sign that's where I'm going I'm turning at the last minute I can see in my right hand mirror I'm close to the curb so I've turned out a bit wider now I'm aiming for the left I need his side of the road he's not going to give it to me neither's him 
use their side of the road a little bit just to get me around the corner. The silver one's hanging back. Thank you. And we're round. When you're making sharp turns like that, you've got to be mindful of your headboard of your trailer because you can easily knock things over, lampposts, signs, all kinds of things you can hit with that headboard if you're not careful. So always be mindful when you're making tight turns. This is now a route that you would find. I think this is part of your test route as well if you're doing your test in this area. Someone just, I think they knew me. <laughs> someone just beat me. Maybe uh, a relative or someone that recognises me. Didn't quite see. Straight ahead at this roundabout. Lorries do come this way. So we'll see the difference in kind of road now. Going straight, I'm keeping to the right where this yellow sign is as always and I'm aiming over there where the sign with the road name on it is. I'm going to aim over there after I aim forward for this blue arrow again. So it's clear. I'm going for my blue arrow. I'm aiming for that road sign over there. I'm turning because I'm going to touch the curb if I don't. And I'm around and I've missed it. Taking more space than I need. That's the golden rule here. Take more than you need. This situation, I'm just coming around the corner. I am really close to that middle line, if not on top of it, when I'm coming around this corner. On the other hand, I'm as close to that curb as I can be. At these traffic lights, now I'm going to turn right. So I need to be as far on the left side as I can. You can see there's a few trees hanging over here. They do tend to get the trailer a little bit, or your mirror. But I want to be on that left side, you can hear it there. I'm aiming straight, 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 until I see the curb start to disappear. Now I'm turning to my right and using my mirror on the right hand side as a guide to see those trailer wheels. And I see I've missed the curb nice and easy here. I know my truck, so I know I have enough space to fit through here. And I can see I've missed those cars there on the left. I'm going left at this roundabout. Now it is tight, this one. So I'm going straight ahead for that blue arrow again. And then I'm going to have to pull it more over to the other car. So I'm going straight, starting to turn when I see the curb disappear. Now I'm going towards this lady's Hyundai. Now I'm turning because I can see my trailer wheels have missed that curb. So on that roundabout, it's not just a left turn what we're doing, we're, we're pulling it left but we're pulling it across as well, away from that curb. That's local knowledge again. Of course I've done this route a million times in my car. I've done it in the lorry quite a lot of times as well when I was working for the other company. So I know these corners but even if you don't know where you're going, your guide is your trailer wheels because you can see how close your wheels are whether you're too close, you need to steer away more, or whether you're not close enough to the kerb, you steer closer. At this roundabout, we're turning right. It's very busy here. I know that other lorries do come this way, so I know I have the space there. But I'm just going to hang back a little bit for these lights as well. I don't want to block the crossing. See, I can go now. I'm going to put my right signal on, and I'm actually, I'm going to block up this left lane a little bit with my trailer. Reason being, when I swing around this roundabout, I'm going to go to the left, and I don't want to hit any car trying to get around me. So now I'm taking up both lanes. I'm in the middle of both lanes because I see it as defensive driving. I don't want them to come at the side of me um, and get themselves in a situation where I can't see them very well and possibly get them hit. So I'm defensive driving here. Whether they'd say to do this on your test, I'm not sure. But luckily we're not on a test now. I know it's busy because of the school traffic and people just can't wait when it's busy like this. So I'm trying to protect myself and the driver behind me by not letting him come through until I've cleared the roundabout. So I don't want to bump into him. 
I also don't want them to start queuing this way as well and blocking the roundabout. So I'm just not going to let him past. Call me selfish. I'm aiming for a roundabout where that red car is before I turn. That Hyundai in front there on the left hand side. I'm aiming for that one. And about there is when I'm going to start to turn to the right. I think this lady to my right might actually let me go here. She seems to be hanging back. So I'm aiming about where that block switch, between the block switch and the lamppost, where the red car is now. I'm aiming for that before I turn. This lady's going to let me go. It's almost like I'm going completely straight here. So going forward. I see in my right hand side, my trailer wheels have missed the middle of the roundabout by a mile, so I'm turning. I'm still far away from it, so I'm turning to my left. No problem. It's more that you work in squares, if that makes sense. You, you work in straight lines. That's, that's the best way to describe it. In the Arctic, you work in straight lines. In the rigid, you work in curves because you can't turn the rigid as easily as you can turn the Arctic. So in the rigid, you want to make a slow curve around the corner. In the rigid, in the Arctic, sorry, you want to go forward and then turn. It's more straight lines, if that makes sense. Where the rigid is more slow curves. The Arctic straight and then straight and so on. Turning light as possible basically. At this roundabout we're turning right. There isn't a straight ahead at this roundabout, it's a dead end so I don't really have to be aware of what the cars are doing in that left lane because they should only be going left in that lane. But we know that that's not always the case. So I am being aware. I can see in my mirror no one is in that lane. But I'm conscious that there might be. Following it round, heading straight, turning. I can see in my right hand mirror. I'm sorry that you can't see that side. But I can see that I've missed that curve easily. So I'm turning left here. Miss that nice and easy. At this roundabout I'm going to go left and I'm going to give you two examples of turning into busy roads. So I'm going to go left here, keep into the right hand side, almost on top of this white line here. Because this is a left curve. Again, if I was doing this and I didn't know this turn, I'd probably take up both lanes defensively. Because you never know how much space you might need and the cars don't know either so you could turn into them by mistake. Going straight, turning, I can see I've missed the curb, so I'm straightening up. I'm hoping in this right turn in a minute there's going to be a queue of traffic because there usually is. And that's a question I've had, what do you do if you're trying to turn and there's a queue of traffic? Well the answer is just wait, just wait. If you're not sure how much space you'll need, just wait. see there isn't a queue here. There's always a queue here and now I'm filming the video there's not. Let's try the next one. Might be a queue on the next one. I don't think we're going to be blessed with one. Come on buddy. No it doesn't look like we are. But if we were turning into this road to the right here and there's a line of traffic, which the most often is, like now, perfect timing, I can't get round that corner with these cars there, so I have to wait and let them go. Luckily the cars in front of me have let them go and we can see that these skip vehicles are actually taking up my road here, so I need his side of the road. So I'm going to turn towards my side of the road and then swing it last minute. Watching my headboard for his skip there, missed it, so we're okay. Again, if there's a queue of traffic there then you just wait. You just wait for them to go. You just wait for them to go and 
they'll see that you are a large vehicle and that you need the space so they'll either go to get out your way or they'll stay quite far back and let you go that's just the key to it you just wait and they can see like they can't miss you you're in a massive arctic they know what you're trying to do because you've put your signal on so you just let them go or you wait until someone stays well back and waits but i think sometimes the drivers try to let you go but they're too close and the only way you'll know once is if you try to get round it with them there and then you'll realize i'm not going to fit so even if there is someone making you um even if there's someone letting you go sorry and you feel like you might not fit don't be scared to wave them on and wait until you feel you've got a bit more space because they can see what you're doing you're in an arctic they can see you're struggling you know just wait here i'm going to turn right and again i'm going to aim straight for the lamppost in front of me until i see the curb disappear or almost disappear then i'm going to turn to the right i don't really need to here because i can let my trailer cut this corner but good practice is to try not to let it cut the corner clear so i'm going forwards 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 i see it starting to disappear so i'm putting that full right lock on i'm pulling my trailer around Nick um, from my old company. Now at the end of this road I'm gonna turn left and it is tight and I might catch the curb doing it but I'm gonna try my best for you guys. I'm turning left at the end and this curb sticks out here where this van is. Obviously I'm conscious of this pedestrian here as well so I need to be on the right hand side as much as I can. So I'm going to be on the white line if I can help it. I know a lot of lorries come this way. So I'm going to be conscious that there might be a truck coming around this corner where this ambulance is now. So I'm just going to stay back a little bit. Otherwise, we might meet face to face and our lorries might give each other a kiss. So I'm just going to stay back here just to allow um, anyone come around there who might be larger than a car. We've cleared the junction. Junction's clear. I'm going to go forward, keeping to as right as I can on this middle line. And if anyone's going to try to turn in here now with a large vehicle, they're going to have to wait because they're not going to make it. I know I need their side of the road because I can see in my mirror I'm already close to that curb. And if I put a full left lock on, I'm never going to make it. So I need to wait for somebody to let me go. Where that silver car is there, that person's probably in the way so we're looking to the van behind him to give me the space to do it see my right hand side is coming clear now after this silver car the van is letting me go so i'm going straight 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 see that curb disappear now i'm turning and i've made it nicely thank you to this person here in the van watching my headboard doesn't hit him on the way as well because swinging like that, go slowly to make sure that your headboard isn't going to hit the one who's just let you out. Oh, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> but like I say, with a bit of experience, you get to know your truck. All right then. So that is this video done. Part my trailer now. So I'm going to disconnect part the unit and everything. Um, I hope this video helped you if it's something that you've been worrying about. Now, like I said, it's something that comes with experience and you'd be surprised how fast you pick it up. It really does come to you quite quickly. So try not to worry about it uh, because you only tend to make a mistake once or twice and then you learn you need a bit more space next time. Um, just take your time and you'll be fine. Use those trailer wheels as your biggest guide um, and that will help you the most. Uh, what, what else was I gonna say? can't remember of course if you like this video you can give me a thumbs up and 
if you want to stay tuned with me for more adventures and tutorials and tips then you can subscribe otherwise i will see you guys in the next one